with the federal government involved in our schools at all. Here I'm running for the U.S. Senate, but I'm a conservative. A former North Carolina governor and former mayor of Charlotte, Pat McCrory, is taking another stab at public office. Now, McCrory sits at a solid second in the polls in the Republican race for North Carolina's open Senate seat. But does his prior statements hold up with his campaign convictions? Queen City News chief political correspondent Emma Withrow goes one on one with the former leader of the very own Queen City on why he says he deserves your vote. For some Charlotte voters, he's known as Mayor Pat, but for most North Carolinians, he's Governor McCrory. But he wants to take on a new role as one of North Carolina's senators. The only thing standing in his way right now is a congressman who has the support of one of our former presidents. But Governor Pat McCrory says he has the truth and the people on his side. For a man who's been involved in North Carolina politics for more than three decades, Pat McCrory has the name recognition that most candidates strive for. I'm a person of accomplishment who saved the North Carolina economy, who built a great city here, and now I want to bring that talent and skill to um, save the American dream. McCrory served on the Charlotte City Council as an at-large member for six years and was the mayor for 14. Good evening. I'd like to welcome everyone to the Charlotte City Council meeting. My name is Pat McCrory, mayor of the city of Charlotte. He went on to become North Carolina's governor in 2013, but only served for one term after losing to Roy Cooper. As a longtime Republican, Governor Pat McCrory aligns his beliefs with a past president's. I'm a conservative. I'm a Reagan conservative. But unfortunately for McCrory, times have changed in the Republican party. According to recent polls, the majority of Republican voters are maintaining their loyalty to a more recent former president. You can't pick people that have already lost two races. You can't pick people that have already lost two races. And people who heard that speech knew exactly who President Donald Trump was referring to. I, haven't, I have not sought the endorsement of anybody, including President Trump, because first of all, I don't want to be beholden to anyone. When I become a senator, I don't want to owe anyone. But a Trump endorsement comes with its perks. After he announced his support for McCrory's opponent, Congressman Ted Budd, Budd instantly gained traction in the race. Mr. President, Laura, this means the world to me. Thank you. Now Bud's in the lead and has a super PAC spending millions of dollars in advertisements on his behalf, some of which are blatant attacks on McCrory. As governor, Pat McCrory put liberals in charge of the state textbook commission, appointing a Democrat majority. His commission mandated textbooks written by radical woke professors pushing critical race theory. It's a total lie and should be taken off the air. Um, in fact, I did not appoint any of those committee members. They were appointed by the superintendent of public schools by statute. I had to accept their nominations, which means the superintendent of public schools, <coughs> who was a Democrat at the time, made those appointments. McCrory says these ads are painting a completely false picture of who he is and what he stands for. Sadly, that ad and many of the other ads are deceitful and total lies. And sadly, uh, if you tell a lie in a commercial, you'll tell a lie once you get elected. And that's what Ted Budd is doing. McCrory, Budd, and former Congressman Mark Walker are currently the highest polling candidates in this race. They were all invited to participate in a Queen City News debate this week, yet only McCrory and Walker showed up. This was the fourth and final debate that Budd skipped. He, Ted Budd's doing what Joe Biden did, and that's hide during a campaign. He's even worse than Joe Biden with that regards. He's not only hiding, he's refusing to debate, and that's an insult and disrespectful to the voters of North Carolina. McCrory, on the other hand, has shown up to every debate and voiced his opinion on hot topic issues like immigration on the southern border, inflation, energy independence, and more. Though he's in second place right now, he's confident North Carolinians will elect him to be their next senator. It's good to be home. We're going to win this race. It's going to be a close race, but we're going to win this race because the undecided, which includes both Republicans and independents that can vote in the primary, Right now, Governor Pat McCrory is the biggest threat to Congressman Ted Budd securing this Republican nomination. And North Carolina voters are at a crossroads. Will they stay loyal to former President Donald Trump and vote for his candidate or vote for a guy who's represented them in various capacities for decades? We'll find out the answer to that on May 17th. Emma Withrow, Queen City News.